What's up guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a tool in Roblox Studio that you can press E to pick up. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is make your tool. So, I'm just going to search up Apple in the toolbox, and I'm going to get this Apple here, and then I'm going to add in a tool in the workspace. I'm going to put this um, Apple inside the tool, and now... Um, make sure that in your tool you have something named handle. That's where you're just going to be able to pick up your tool from. So now that we have our tool, inside our handle we're going to add in a proximity prompt. So search a proximity prompt and inside that we're going to add a script. Okay, delete the default code. At first we're going to say local tool equals script dot parent dot parent dot parent. So we're getting our tool here. And now we're going to say local prox equals script dot parent so now that we have our tool in our proximity prompt now we're going to say um local ti and you can name this variable to whatever you want i'm just going to name it to ti short for touch interest equals tool dot handle dot touch interest so get touch interest there we go and now that we have our touch interest, now we're going to say ti colon destroy. So we're going to destroy our touch interest, which is this when we join the game, because we don't want this to, we don't want to be able to touch, um, pick it up by touching it. So now that we have that, we're going to say prox, and then um, dot triggered colon connect function, and then inside the parameter, we're going to say player, and now inside the um, event that we have from when we um, pick it up we're going to say we're going to say tool dot and then we're going to say tool dot dot parent equals and then player dot backpack so we're going to put it in the backpack of our player and now we're going to say prox colon destroy so we're going to destroy the proximity prompt and everything so now it should be working and now you can go to your proximity prompts properties and change um, these to however you want so I can change the action text I'm going to say pick up and then I'm going to say the object text will be apple and now I can say I could change the key code to whatever I want so I could change it to a different key if I wanted to and I can do the whole duration I'm going to do um, 1.5 seconds they have to hold it for and there you go so now i customized my proximity prompt so let's go to, we're gonna play the game now and see if it works so we're gonna load in and now in here you can see apple and pick up so when i press hold that it opens the apple and now we have the apple in our hand so if you want to rename your tool you can rename your tool too and you can do that by going to your tool and then renaming it. I'm going to name it to Apple. And I'm going to play the game again. And now when I play the game, it should um, say Apple when I join the game. So I come over here. And then I hold up, I pick up my Apple again. And now it's named Apple. And that's how you make a tool that you can pick up by pressing E. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.